Hey. So this week's topic is Insanely Heinous Fan Fiction Week, and this fan fiction I'm about to read you is the reason we have this week. Um, I'm going to warn you that it is very, very disturbing. Um, not nearly as disturbing as Michael's original reading, but um, which will be linked to right here. Go watch it. It's pretty fun. Anyway, um... <laughs> It is very, very weird, I'm not going to lie. It is bet it is a slash fiction between um, two very unlikely Harry Potter characters. Um, so without further ado, let me put on my glasses and let's read this. I give you Dobby and the Beast by Hortensia Dionysus. <clears throat> Hagrid was in his cottage after a long, hard day of work, taking care of the grounds at Hogwarts. He was relaxing on his couch with a large cup of mead, but he was lonely. Harry and his friends would not be arriving at Hogwarts for another month. Alas, he was afraid for Harry because Voldemort... Oh, I think it was meant to be also. Anyway, he was afraid for Harry because Voldemort wanted to kill him. Just then... There was a crack, and Dobby the house elf appeared for him. He came every night to clean Hagrid's hut, and to make sure he had enough wood for his fire, and that his trash cans were emptied. Lately, Hagrid enjoyed more and more these brief visits. They didn't say much to one another, but Hagrid was beginning to develop feelings for the elf. How are you? said Hagrid to the elf. Good, sir. Dobby is very good, said Dobby. Hagrid looked longingly at Dobby as he bent over the fireplace as he added more logs to the fire. He wanted to say something. Dobby, he began, but he stopped. Yes, said the elf. Hagrid hesitated, but Dobby could read into his eyes and what he desired to say. Dobby loves her too, he said. Hagrid wasted no time. He grabbed the little house elf and tore off his tea cozy. Oh, sir, said Dobby with a grin on his face. As Hagrid dropped his drawers he got and got ready to put his wand, and I don't mean his broken one, into Dobby's naughty place. However, there was a problem. Um, sir, started Dobby. I don't think I can take you. You're just too big for me. It's okay, said Hagrid with a smile. I have just the solution, but tell no one. Hagrid reached over for his other wand and said, Engorgio asshole. Dobby was... <laughs> Sorry. Dobby was suddenly struck with the oddest feeling he had ever felt. Suddenly his love hole was massive. Now that's a wee bit better, said Hagrid, and then he lowered Dobby onto his throbbing man stick. Even though with the spell, it barely fit inside. Oh, cried Dobby, feeling his insides being filled by Hagrid. Ah, yelled Hagrid, as he was starting to thrust in and out of the small house, now altered by Hagrid's huge mass inside of him. Then, as Hagrid was about to come, <laughs> Dobby realized another problem with their love. However, it was too late, and Hagrid cummed into Dobby, filling him with his flood of love and making his stomach bloat outward as if he was pregnant or something. Hagrid relaxed and withdrew from Dobby, causing a quart of man juice to come out. Dobby was tired and fell asleep in Hagrid's loving arms. The end. <laughs> so I'm sorry if that made you feel bad or weirded out or anything, but I thought it was hilarious and weird. I'm going to take these off because they're so glad. But I thought it was hilarious. I, <laughs> I actually um, was shared this or... Someone shared this with me, that person being my best friend, Melanie. So that was for you, Mel. And <laughs> yeah, it's it's different. Like I said, I don't read fan fiction regularly um, unless it's really bad ones and I go looking for it. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Tell me what you thought about it down below. Um, now I'm going to talk about everybody else's. Katie, <laughs> just how you read it just made it so much better. <laughs> And, I don't know, I, like, I've never cared for Qui-Gon Jinn because he's not important in the slightest to me out of the Star Wars, like, 
entire series and having someone write a fan fiction of him just I felt was hilarious um and I love having you on Mondays it's pretty nice although I miss being directly after you um Robbie Robbie that story oh my god that story I felt horrible reading it and uh, I feel even worse that the thing that bothered me the most about it was that Pooh Bear is not orange, he is yellow. And, like, after that line was read, I, I don't know, the spell was broken. I'm like, that's not right. But, I mean, him viciously murdering everybody in the Hundred Acre Words isn't right either. But, hmm. <laughs> Michaela, I really wish you would have finished reading it. Um, I need to finish it when I have time. I, I actually got a job recently, so I've been busy with that. Um, whew. But Sam and Karofsky, I think, is a crazy pair, I must say. I, I, I wouldn't ship it. I don't like Karofsky. I don't understand people's obsession with him. But, hey. And Michael, I'm so glad you're on the channel. And both of your stories are wonderful. Oh, especially the the Dragon Air Guard Shop one. <laughs> <laughs> and then in the second one, your burp. Oh my god, that burp. It, it just diffused all the tension. But anyway, that's all I have time for today. I don't want this to be insanely long. Um, even though all of these week's videos have been kind of long. Anyway, I will catch you guys next week. Um, and I look forward to hearing everybody or seeing everybody else's videos. Catch you later. Bye.